So hey everyone, in this video we are going to see that how can we get uh, get the files from user we upload when we need that files in you can say form. So we will be using our input field here. Uh, let's move in our VS Code. And do some basic setup like we need a app.py then we need uh, some folders named as templates templates and the other folder named as static static okay and now let's create our environment creating our environment is completely your choice you can do it on system level too but we will create our environment so our environment is getting created let's wait some seconds ok it is done now let's uh, install our flask inside this environment ok so it is showing environment already satisfied now let's close the terminal and type from flask import flask import flask render template we will be needing this and we don't need request but uh, let's see then what we have to do is import a module named as viewxerb worksview sorry worksview from works you uh, just a second import secure file name I think there is some issue in the terminal let me check again install our flask this is the one so now flask is installed in our virtual environment let's check yes now it is installed just a second now let's create our app instance okay now we have to create some routes which will be accepting you can say post request at app.route this route this will request uh, sorry this will accept some methods that will be get in post okay let's create a function inside this upload file okay so this will accept only post request and f is equal to uh, request.files will request files from the form which is uploaded in the form so what we have to do now is we have to save our file with a secure file name that is uh, so that no one can you can say attack on our website and uh, collect its data you can say for uh, for that purpose we need secure file name from works you and we have to also save this in this is static folder static in quotations static slash so we have to save these files which will be uploaded by user in static folder okay and at the end we have to return this this HTML file uh, you can say one more thing here that is file uploaded successfully but we will not do this we will do something else just a second we will uh, return him again back to this point return render template upload.html so now we will needing we will be needing this this particular file that is upload.html let's create it just a second let's close this okay good 
now what we have to do is we can name it as form and we will be needing some you can say input fields a heading firstly upload files upload files then I input uh, then a form which will you uh, which will request some data from user and this will hit on this route then you have to define method here method will be post this will contain an input field type will not be text type will be a file this one and we will have a submit button here beauty and submit button whose action will be submit cubmit okay and this will be upload file you can check this go live okay so this will be our basic template where we can upload our files let's go back in our, our vs code sorry action not will be submit this is actually type type equals submit okay so we are almost done let's go in our app and start our app okay we first need to do some basic things that is app dot route sorry app dot run debug equal to okay let's run there is some error in this particular segment let's check okay sorry we need to fix something here too this will be plus because this will concatenate uh, you can say directory okay and then let's rerun our app it is still showing the error let me check okay let's do one thing remove the secure file name from here and type it here for that we need some things file name equal to f dot file name okay comma secure file name okay let's check this now again this is still showing the error okay uh, and we can do one thing also okay we can do one thing also that is defining encoding type here enc type enc type this will be our multi-part form data okay now let's try this okay we have to do one more thing we can directly use this from utils okay and then let's run this yeah it is running now and guys we uh, we need to specify the encoding here so make sure to specify this okay now let's uh, upload some files i will upload this let's check I think it is uploaded now let's check our static folder you can see this uh, this file uploaded is here so guys that's all for this video I hope you have learned something from this now let's see you next time